Ahoy sailors, I'm Payan from 1757 and I've come to this very different and very advanced future, the year 2021. Well, I have a question for you all. Why is everyone wearing a mask? I mean, in our time, we all wore eye patches, you know. But I don't judge whatever gets you going. Anyway, I plan on traveling across the world on our beloved ship, the Black Pearl. This is just a model, okay? I have a very big ship. Okay, this way. Not packing, just saying. This way. Well, guys, I need a crew and a sextant. Crew is not a problem, actually, because Captain Jack Sparrow has her own fandom. <laughs> But sextant, I can't seem to find any. Do you know where I can find one? Hmm? Huh? is an instrument that works on the principle of double reflection. It is used for measuring the angular distance between two visible objects. Now, who would use such an instrument? Well, it's primarily used for celestial navigation by mariners and pirates, just like the one you saw before. Estimating this angle is called taking a sight, which is done using a telescope that is attached to the sextant. This angle can then help us determine the latitude and longitude. The principle of this instrument was first implemented in around 1731 by John Hadley and Thomas Godfrey. Now, there were other instruments like the Davis quadrant and the octant. However, they were much less accurate and so when the sextant arrived, they were quickly replaced by it. The term sextant comes from a Latin word sextus meaning one sixth. This is because the arc of the sextant spans 60 degrees. This sextus shaped part is called the frame which can be either made of metal or plastic and this is what holds every part together. At the bottom of the frame there is a scale ranging from 0 to 120 degrees. Now to this frame is an index arm attached. This is the main moving part of the sextant. and this sort allows us to take the measurements there's a vernier scale and a micrometer drum at the bottom of this arm for accurate measurements the least count of the sextant is usually 0.1 minutes next to the vernier scale is a clamp which controls the motion of the index arm index mirror is a small mirror attached to the index arm it basically runs through the scale to measure the angle hence it rotates as the arm rotates There is a second mirror called horizon mirror. Well, it's technically part mirror, part see through. It helps to see horizon straight ahead and the reflection of the celestial body. Now, opposite to the horizon mirror is a telescope which has shades in front of it to protect the eye of the watcher. So as to measure the angular distance between the sun and the iceberg The sextant is held up to the eye so that the iceberg is visible through the eyepiece. The arm and the mirror attached to it are rotated so that the image of the sun is reflected to the darkened glass onto the half silvered mirror. The silvered mirror is in level with the iceberg. The angle is read on the calibrated stick below. Now, we mentioned double reflection before. But do you remember the basic laws of reflection? I mean obviously didn't we wrote learn them throughout our middle school now to brush up your memory there are two basic laws of reflection the first law states that the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal lie on the same plane and the second law states that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection now the same rules are followed when the light hits the first mirror and then the reflected ray from that incidence on the second mirror and then gets reflected further fascinating isn't it so what if we rotate the second mirror by theta with respect to mirror 1 so now the angle of incidence on the second mirror becomes i plus theta and the angle of reflection is the same now as seen from the diagram the total deflection of light from the first mirror is i plus i which is equal to 2i whereas For the second mirror it's i plus theta 
plus i plus theta which is equal to 2i plus 2 theta this exact thing is the sextant principle so the exact statement is when a ray of light is reflected by two mirrors in succession the angle between the incoming and outgoing ray of light is twice the angle between the two mirrors hence when we rotated the second mirror by theta with respect to first mirror the angle between the incident light ray and the final doubly reflected ray is twice of theta so now coming back to the arc being on 60 degrees now when the index arm is rotated by 60 degrees the scale reads 120 degrees voila double reflection is a player basically the scale reads the angle between the light rays and not the direct angle of rotation well guys you see how useless extensions were back in my day they not anymore no thanks to electrical navigation but what i've heard is that naval officers are still taught how to use this extension you know just for backup but majorly they are a forgotten technology so i guess that's the history of sextin and my journey hmm anyway guys please like comment share and please 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 press that bell icon okay bye bye